Uh oh, now she just appeared altogether. Oh, hello. why did I disappear? I can see you guys now. Turn to put your camera on. <laughs> yeah, it, it's a good thing oh. you're not te teaching. <laughs> <laughs> Denise. You never know, I do this every day. Welcome back to Tep Interiors Inc.'s channel and this week's episode of What's Your Problem? This episode, our problem child is Denise. Denise has been a grade school teacher for 13 years and she currently teaches grade three. She lives just outside of Toronto with her husband of 27 years and their amazing daughter, Emily. What's Denise's problem, you ask? Well, it's her dining room. They've lived in their house now for 26 years and they have custom handmade dining room furniture that's 25 years old. So it's definitely time for an update and a refresh. Denise is looking for a more farmhouse chic slash beachy aesthetic for her dining room. Also this episode, we're really excited to welcome for the first time this week's problem solver, Tracy O'Brien. After graduating with a Bachelor of Arts from New York University in Sociology, Tracy decided to return to school and graduated with an interior design diploma from Humber College of Applied Arts and Technology. Since then, Tracy has been designing interior spaces for 26 years. Tracy believes in paying it forward, so for 13 years part-time, Tracy has also taught interior design and decoration at various colleges and universities throughout the Greater Toronto Area and Barrie. She's a registered interior designer and a Rito member. Denise? Dude, what's your problem? Oh my goodness. Um, well, when we first got this house, it was built in the 80s. Um, when we first got it, it was, <laughs> it was a nightmare. Um, the carpet was so bad that it was like working, like walking on indoor, outdoor carpet. Everything was baby blue. You know, those country colors in the eighties, uh, baby blue, rose, peach, God awful. And they even, wall they wallpapered everything. They even wallpapered the laundry room. So we ripped it out and we put in new hardwood floors and tiles and we did all that stuff. And then we started putting money not in the house anymore and um we would travel instead and uh it's just gone down um if we don't want to sell we love our house but it's not bringing me any joy anymore i look at it and i sit at night it keeps me up thinking of things i'd like to do um right now with the covid situation and Mike uh, getting uh, starting an, his own business in a time when it's not picking up. Um, right. Money's tight, uh, but we are not traveling. So we have that money that we could usually travel with to invest a little here and there. When did you buy it again? When did you, uh, how long has it been? We bought it in 95. So that's when you last decorated? Um, no. Uh, Emily's 22 now, so 22. The style, I kind of really, um, really makes me feel happy is the French country. Like when I, and I know it's been a while now since I saw it, first saw it, but when I used to watch um, Joanna Gaines' Reveals, I was like, yeah, that's it. That's my style totally some now, of it a little you know there's a, there's a difference though between french country and farmhouse chic yeah i think you like farmhouse chic yeah but i also newer. like cozy i i i'm pretty kind of sensuous person i like everything to feel good soft um cozy like everything has to be cozy, even though my house basically right now isn't. I'm the kind of person who can stay in bed all day with my favorite blanket and my tea and, you know. So, yeah. so I think what you like, I mean, you like a very relaxed style. Yes. Very relaxed. You want a hug when you walk into your house. And right now you're not getting a hug from your house. No. That's basically what you're saying. Right. I like, I like that term, Tracy. That's really, I like that. Very well put. Thank yeah. You. But that's kind of what she's saying. I mean, she doesn't want to walk yeah. into, get out of the house <laughs> and run, but you want to be hugged by your house and you want to have like a spa-y bathroom and you want to just kind of chill. Totally. That's totally it. Yeah. I'm not a bling bling person. I'm not into the moderner. Um, uh, like I love Terry's style. I, I love it. It's so creative. And I mean, that's one thing I've always admired about him, but I couldn't live in that. But I mean, look at, 
Terry and I are probably the most opposite people in the world, even though I love him like a brother, right? Um, yeah. But I couldn't live in his house, although I do like those pillows. And oh. the, the game, um, I'm really rocking that game. <laughs> although I'd probably play it for 10 minutes, then go back on the couch and read my book. But I know you, you are a games person because do you still have your shuffleboard uh, game? You had shuffleboard in your basement. Yeah, no, uh, we had to sell it for something. We had to sell the doom buggy too. Yeah, life oh. got in the way. Yeah. <laughs> All our fun toys are gone. And, and Mike was kind of getting sick of me being obnoxious on that shuffleboard. <laughs> I would, people come over and I'd basically hammer them at shuffleboard and I was pretty yeah. obnoxious about it. And if I lost, God forbid, everyone out. Right. So, so basically we're learning you're extremely competitive <laughs> yeah and what about your husband oh my goodness my husband is um he's so quiet <laughs> he's very quiet um he's my extreme opposite oh. yeah he's kind and gentle and sweet and he's very he listens he doesn't talk well, I don't yes. think you're, I don't think you're a horrible person. I think probably <laughs> the listening part is truer than you being like the opposite of him being sweet and blah, 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 blah. That's what I'm reading from this. Cause uh, I don't know. I'm pretty much a bitch. Still trying to work <laughs> on that. I probably have a book here somewhere saying, do not be a bitch. Yeah. Look at, I have a broom in my closet too. It all comes out when I'm angry. So yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's fun. Okay. So any colors you hate? Um, I'm not a yellow person. Yep. Not red. Like red, orange, like the bold colors. No. Um, I really don't even, it took me years to get them in my garden. I'm like a pinks and blues and like in my garden, I like whites and like chartreuse and things like that. But, I love that word. Yeah, me too. Um, and my favorite, like, um, for my favorite color in the whole world is turquoise. But this is about the extent of it. This is in my house a lot, this color. Mm -hmm. A lot of my stuff, like my, um, especially in my classroom, which is more fun, is this turquoise. I love it. Okay. Loves turquoise. Okay. So tealy turquoise, you're all about. You're all yeah. over. Do you like beige? I, I like like the soft linen, okay. um, like you know, like a wheat color, but be beige, as my French friend calls it. No, um, it's boring. So yeah. yeah, I don't like tan. I don't like the real deep. Yeah, but you don't like the orange colors. You don't like any of those warm colors. Like no, no. I love white and, and cream together, white and linen together, and and that uh, farmhouse chic in French country and that. The, the off whites and the creams are like prevalent in that in that for sure. Mm -hmm. Just like that Pinterest board that you sent me, which I'm gonna share on the screen right now. You're away. So this is Denise's Pinterest board that she sent okay. and it, Look at all right? this. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so you've got a range. Okay, so yeah, you're you're not really French country. Right. No. You're you're more into the yeah. Which is good because I think you're on the more modern version of exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. Which, it, it, it's a positive thing. And it's yeah, more I, I'm not like really the antique kind of, I used to, but I like the square lines. Like see on the top, the, I think that's gorgeous. That um, that white round mirror on the side table. Like you're very beachy. Like it's Yes, I love beachy. True. You're very beachy. Yeah. I'm and then if I could pick anywhere in the world to be, that would be it. And then I like the black in it. Right? right, I really, I like the touch of black that makes it pop a bit. That's okay. one thing I don't like is chandeliers. Okay, do not like them. I don't know why. They are. You're, talk, you're talking about the crystally chandeliers, right? Yeah, no. Okay, okay. Um, but see the one beside it down a bit, the big long one over the white table with the black. Yeah, yeah. Up a bit yeah, there, no. Oh, up yeah, there, yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Like that's nice. And you're, you're more like a maximalist, which is more like me. Yeah. My Perfect. sister comes over and it she, she almost hyperventilates. 
She has OCD. She's an artist. And you can't leave, like, if you get a hair on her counter, she loses her shit. And um, <laughs> she comes over here and she has to leave within 24 hours because it's just too much. She, then she'll say that to my husband. Look at all this shit she's got all over. Like, why does she have these doodads everywhere? <laughs> See, like this pantry picture here with all that stuff on the shelves, that's like organized chaos. That's like yes. me. That's totally me. Like if you open my, well, actually, well, not in my office right now because I'm in the midst of ripping it apart. Um, but if you look around, my place is pretty scary like that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, that's great. my sister. Everything's yeah. labeled. She's got a label maker. All her cupboards are labeled. I put away her groceries one time and she had a shit fit because I didn't put all the labels facing forward and I put the peas with the fruit cocktail or something like that. You know, <laughs> um, if you went in my kitchen right now, uh, I have shit everywhere. There is, um, I have four different cupboards in not the same area for food and pots and pans hanging from the ceiling and pots and pans in different cupboards and nothing makes sense. So that's like a project for me that I have to do that keeps me up at night. Yeah, yeah if, if, if it's just a disaster, you're, you're, you never really want to go in and cook anything. No, I don't it, cook anymore. Right. Uh, one thing I need to point out, please, no signs. None of these general store, groceries, no. No, family. I don't Live, love, laugh. We're totally I, done. Denise, if I see any live, love, laugh sign <laughs> when this is over, I will never speak to you again. <laughs> <laughs> I only have little, the little signs, you know, the cottage is where my heart is in my bathroom with a wreath around it because it's cute and whatever. It's like, it's like this big. I'm not a big signage person until you go to the cottage, but that's to potty instructions. Yeah. I want people to put the, anyways, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Put the lid down before you flush. Please, thank you. Wash your hands. Yeah. If it's yellow, <laughs> let it mellow. No, don't. Flush the damn toilet. <laughs> <laughs>um, a family friend built for us, but it's hideous. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope I, mean, I, hope, so... I hope they don't watch this. But if you painted it, yes, and mirrored the back of it, yes, that would take away that uber country, 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 you know, and fill those little naughty eyeballs there. Um, yeah, like new noms. But see, I don't, and I, I, I would guess take up that trim. Like a lot of it, you can just take it on to make it more, you know, the long is different. This even is on the outside. See the inside is flat. Ah, oh, well, that was good. So I don't know. I could frost it or keep it stripped. Oh, it's always good to keep it open. Like I refinished one. Oh, just shelves. Yeah, just spray everything. Got it sprayed out. I just painted, I'm thinking of something like I put a little bit of color for this piece. Oh, those are fun. I like those. So this, I painted yesterday with the fusion. Yep. And it's kind of, it's just for my flowers. Mm -hmm. But it's called heirloom. Um, obviously, the um, curtains. <laughs> I just put up some shears because our neighbor uses his dining room for his grow up. And well, he just smokes pot. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but he, he's got his purple lights there and his office. He's a great guy. But I sometimes wish I could like, blow aside and say, Matt, put up some fucking curtains because I need privacy. Because the window is, see? Yeah, I would do the window film because it's not even a great view, so. No, it's horrible. So the table and chairs, the, the, your friend didn't make this, right? Yeah, he made the table. Wow. Okay, so this is the table. It's short, but it has this extension here. See that? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, it's a long table. And I like the 
the, they're just clean lines, but we just painted the whole house in country colors. But it's not nope. really cool. country colors. They're just soft colors. They're not colors. soft. Oh, they're beach. They're just fine. Just the beach palette yeah. and uh, from uh, Benjamin Moore. And yeah, it's all soft blues and grays. and Which is really fine. Like that's just normal, really easy colors to live in. So that's the good part. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, are you attached to those chairs? Because they're the ones that are talking the most. Um, attached in like getting rid of them or yes. painting them? No, getting rid of them. You like something with that? Yeah, Terry, you think so too? They're just, they're, they're, they just scream, hello, I'm country. And it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not actually. The funny thing was those were what I thought should stay. Is that funny? You're at the point where you've got super matchy everything like your table matches your two cabinets and your chairs and blah blah it's all one value and it's like I think you're sick, sick of that probably the most oh it's horrible and that's how what my whole house is like everything's matchy if you go up to my bedroom it's when we bought it we bought it as a set right, right. is there a light in the ceiling <sighs> yeah um can you see it? Oh, one of those. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hate it. I liked it at the time. I decorated it Christmas. I, I would too. I would have shells hanging from it right now or something. <laughs> or drink all that wine behind you and then swing from the chandelier. <laughs> well, if you need to do any other ones, let me know. I can show you my living room and you can tell me how to do that. That's what I probably should have done. This is a good, a, a very easy starting point, though. Yeah. It'll, it, it'll, it's, if anything, it's like a good inspirational push for you as well, you know, because right. it's a very easy, it's a very easy room to update and change. And then it'll make you kind of go, oh, shit, that was easy. I really love the way it turned out. Let me keep going. Yeah. Well, I hope that um, uh, I pull in the viewers for you, Terror Bear. Should have worn my bikini for you. Oh, okay, wait, we can start again. We go put it on. <laughs> uh, it might go the opposite way for you. I'll put mine on too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Any brain farts going already, Tracy? Well, they're ideas, actually. They're not farts, they're ideas. They're, they're, a, little, they're a little more concrete than some air. So yes, okay, they're, good. yeah, yes, yes, yes. I've actually can already see it done. So I'm already done. Oh, really? Amazing. Amazing. But if she's done, why am I sending everything? No, in my head, it's done. Oh, <laughs> okay. In my head, I know what I want to see in there. It's done. Oh, okay. Denise, stop trying to get out of doing work. <laughs> you know me so well, Terry. <laughs> Mikey! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. I'll uh, reach out when it's time to do the second half and do the reveal for you, Denise. Okay. Can't wait. Right. Thank okay. you, guys. Bye, Bye guys. You, Terry. Love you lots. Bye, love you too. Bye. I don't love either of you. <laughs> <laughs> can you can you still hear me okay? Oh yeah. Yeah, I turned my volume down too and I don't hear the echo anymore. It must I, have think, been it, I think we were all on super loud. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're old, man. It's gotta you gotta turn it up. What? <laughs> you think we're old? What? Who are you but talking mine, about, Terry? Like I, Who are you I talking my, about? I have, my, uh, I have my hearing aids in and it's oh, all yeah, blue, it's all greedy? Blue. It's all Bluetooth to my hearing. So I can actually hear you guys right inside my uh, hearing aids. It's all Bluetooth. Let me see them, Tara. What? Show me them. Do you mind showing them to me for a sec? Okay, so, because mm. Mikey needs them. He's Does driving he? me insane, and he won't. <laughs> oh, my God. So, welcome back to What's Your Problem? Dude, what's your problem? <laughs> <Many. Many problems. laughs> now we're gonna fix your problems denise uh tracy do you want to recap them. i will i'll take the recap okay please okay. Let's, let's recap okay let's recap just so the everybody is on the same page okay yes please so we have a lovely dining space uh within a residential uh, home and it has a large window with a view onto a st st standing brick wall. Now, and the neighbor likes to look in. So we have a little <laughs> bit of a peeping issue. 
<laughs> so we need to deal with that. So we have some natural light coming into the space. The space obviously does have some sort of uh, artificial lighting. The space has one entry, um, one entryway. So that changes, you know, the circulation of where we're placing furniture. Um, it's right. been one way for a long time. And so now we will, I want to turn it on its ear a little bit and give you a fresher look. Um, as well, we were thinking about using the existing furniture and doing some repainting or a little refinishing or here and there. And then I went, why? Um, because truthfully, what happens is when you refinish certain things, like when you refinish cabinetry, I don't mind that in the sense of China cabinets or buffets or whatever. Like that. But tables and chairs are a whole new pain and you want them to be really look looking good because the finish you want is beachy. Yeah. Right. And beachy translates into beachly farmhousey kind of cool vibe, right? Originally you're going for farmhouse, but that, like I said, easily, Terry and I were talking about this behind your back. And I was saying how <laughs> I was saying how beachy and farmhouse are very close and they sort of shabby chic and it kind of all goes in together. Right. So you want a really relaxed atmosphere to chill, to kick back, to eat your food, to have some great conversations and make some great memories. That's the goal. I liked what you said last time, Tracy. Actually, I've used it since then. You want your you want your home to give you a hug. Yeah, I, I loved that term, and I've used, I've stolen it from you, and okay. I'm going to claim it as my own. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, so did anything come to your mind? Like since our meeting, have you thought of more things that you want to add to this kind of huggy room, <laughs> huggy eaty dunny? Mm -hmm. I put it out of my mind, and I thought they're going to tell me what to do. Well, we will. <laughs> Terry has some suggestions and he's been so gracious as to um, do the SketchUp thing, which is awesome. Um, and he's done a couple and he's thrown some little curves in I didn't think of. And then we'll have a discussion about, you might like it, you might not. So it's fun. So you get, okay. you get choices, okay, you can wait. throw darts and pick what you want to do. Let's see it. So, okay, let me, let me show you what I was thinking in my scary head. Oh. Oh, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> so, okay, so slide one. So I was thinking your color scheme can be anywhere in here, yeah. any creamy whites, because that's sort of the, you know, that farmy, beachy sort of pretty, you know, blue grays, grays, little bit of soft green, something like that. Um, and I was thinking about, um, there's simply whites up here, which is a really nice white. I can move this thing too. Um, Simply white's a great, nice, warm white <clears throat> wall color. And um, you don't want to go too cool because cool and beachy, farmhousey, kind of airy thing doesn't work, right? You want it to feel a little, a little pretty. Not creamy, but just a little not so super white. So for window treatment, what I was thinking was, as we know where your windows are, um, I was thinking of doing, because you need some privacy and you need some, you know, some like light naturally. I think combining panels on the side that are solid, that are operable with a shear all the time, you know, that can be open all the time and just left is, is totally fine. That is one option. Okay. Mm -hmm. So faux raw silk, because it's got a nice little texture to it mm -hmm. and some shear would be really, really pretty and soft. And it gives that nice flowy sort of feeling. Mm -hmm. Conversely. So that's one idea. Conversely, you could also do something like shutters. Mm -hmm. They go full height and that could be sort of a fun thing because that also adds texture and you know you can just pop open the the little slats as as you wish okay yeah. so you can have something very soft or contrasting with something a little more hard but i think because you have so much wood in the room i think i personally would do something softer terry your thought yes i will agree i like both i do like the shutter idea too i always love those those california shutters or the plant, plantation blinds things like that maybe it could even be a combo maybe it's like the, the panels on the side like tracy's saying but instead of the shears put the blind in the window oh, that's yeah gorgeous. you could do something like that yeah yeah right. like i mean i don't see i don't see romans happening there even a soft roman i think that's the wrong window treatment i just yeah. like oh, the ones there. that come the ones that sort of have the little... Yeah, they're in my bedroom, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that's perfect where they go or living room, wherever. But I can't see it happening in this dining room. It doesn't fit. Okay. So there are things that fit and there are things that don't fit. Okay. And with your window, it's not centered. 
So one thing yeah. that I'm going to, once we get to it, when I start, when I show you the model, I'll show you a way that we fix that. Okay. So what I was thinking was, okay, so it's sort of a pretty sort of, you know, country grayed down blue color and it looks different on everybody's screen. But the fun part about this is the fact that it all coordinates really nice. Um, and the fact that, you know, you can change your chairs. There are hundreds of chairs, like there's yeah. hundreds of them, different tables. But the reason I liked this table specifically was because it's a pedestal. And pedestals mean you can sit many people around this and you're not playing, hey, let's play with a leg. You don't want to sit straddling a leg. It's not that yeah. comfortable. And it's really not fun when you're wearing a skirt. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael, please, please, come on. So I always think like that. So, anyways, so and also this does have leaves. So you know, pretty you can make it taller, you can make it bigger. So there is a leaf or two sitting right there. I can see it. Um, like I said, finishes. There are millions, but I kind of like the idea of this this volume being down here, and it's not so it's not so. Oh, there's little legs everywhere. It just condenses everything. Yeah, it gives you larger space around it. Mm -hmm. So it's sort of like that kind of nice feel. And because there is this obviously rounded idea, the oval and the circular, I sort of wanted to mimic that as well in the chairs, whether it be something like this, something like this. And then once again, over here in the glazing of this lovely piece, um, you know, the pattern sort of has a little bit of an organic feel too. I was sort of going for that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And with the lighting fixtures as well, there's more of them. But, you know, something cute like this that you don't really see a lot of or something like this one here, the central one. And that sort of marries into um, exactly what, you know, the colors of everything else. I mean, that's totally seashells. So it's, yeah. it's, it's very easy on your eye. You're not staring at a bulb. And that's a thing you have to consider when you're thinking about lighting. Do you want to see the filament? Do you want to see the bulb? Do you want to look up and get blinded? Like, you have to think yeah. about this. Yeah. So... It's just one of those things to consider. Um, there are other lighting options we will look at after, but how do you feel about the table? Do you like I it? I like the table. I don't like, I like the idea of a pedestal in the middle. I just yep. not should, should totally fond of that one. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. Like I said, there's more. Like if you like yeah, something yeah. a little more geometric or something simpler. Yeah. More. There's tons more. Yeah. I've always oh. liked that. And I like the curves of chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, loads of fabric too, so don't get stuck on these. I just, I also wanted to pick something that's going to show up on camera because <laughs> yeah. sometimes a pattern is so soft and so small, and the perspective just sort of gets lost. Okay, so mm -hmm. something like that I thought was sort of fun. I really like this little metal because you like the black metal. I'm not done with the black theory yet because I know you had a little black idea in your head. And yeah. I found another light that kind of goes with that little bar, which is really mm -hmm. cool. Um, yeah. That's kind of a fun thing, and I thought that could go on one of the walls. Yeah. Sort of a fun thing. Um, you know, lots of storage. Obviously holds the wine glasses, which is great. Um, then you get more storage in yeah. your other side cabin. And you get more storage in this um, China, which is really cool. Yeah. So you got lots of storage going on in there. And it all does fit, which is miraculous. So here's that. That's a prettier um, shot of that light, that, mm -hmm. is that pendant light. Um, there's something a little funkier with an LED in the center. That's yeah. Like, so that's LED with a little bit of the black spin. Yeah, I like that. And I have another one that's just a simple, it's black and gold mm -hmm. that we show after. And it's, it's you know, once again, it's got the black, it's got the gold, and it's just simple. Mm -hmm. So you're not staring at a light bulb per se, but you're staring at something really pretty in art, right? So you want to sort of mimic this oval circular concept I sort of had going because I think you've had the rectangle for so long, I think an oval would sort of soften the edges and then you can, you know, sit around, like I said, easily. Mm -hmm. um, once again, other chairs, like there's a million ways you can play with this quote Lego. Okay, yeah. it's Canadian made, so it's always good. Keep it in Canada. Yeah. And, and that's kind of what I was thinking. And I think there's one more slide. I think, I think. So it sort of looks like this in a scribble. So that's where I sort of, I've moved your furniture around so many times, you have no idea. <laughs> so, so it's like, hmm, and then I'm like to Terry, do this. Here, try this one, see what happens. So. So why don't we hand it off to Terry and let's see what he's cooked up. Sure. This is what your space looks like now. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And then here we transition into what Tracy is suggesting. Huh. <laughs> She's like, looks so different. It does. Isn't it funny? Wow. How crazy how different that looks, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
it's, so, it's kind of funny. <laughs> there's the uh, thing with the wine, put a plant on it. Yeah. Wine glasses. There's your old cabinet. The one thing I'll say about the old cabinet is that it's a bit deep. If yeah. you're standing, if you're standing outside, it does tend, you can see it. Yeah. So it might be worthy to look into something a bit shallower. Yeah. Maybe even a little shorter, you know, something to fit better in there. Uh, there's a, we added a plant in the corner and then the, the, there's still that China cabinet, but it's a smaller version. Yeah. Some photos on the wall on that side. Sure. Mm-hmm. And then I did it with that shell light fixture, just as one, just as an example. An example. Yeah. But also notice we, he took the, took the dado off the, he took the wainscoting down. Yes. Which I think is a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. That chair rail has gone. Took the molding around the door too. No, I love that. I like it. Okay. Keeping the same layout that Tracy did. I put your table back in. Oh yeah, I like that too. Right, it could it could work as well, but I agree though. Tracy's right. Dealing with legs on the corners is nothing but a pain in the ass, especially in a small cramped space like that. Like it's so it's so much easier to fit more people if the legs aren't in the way. Yeah, but it, it could work. I suppose you could even paint. I think it's already this color right now, right? It's about the base is like sort of a dark teal kind of color, is it not? No, no. I must have added that then I, and forgot. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's been a few weeks. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Which I yeah. like. Or you could paint it white. Like leave the yeah. top. You paint leave it. the top yeah. wood, flip the table over and paint just the, the, the apron and the legs. Yeah. Right. A white or a teal that actually goes very well with the color of the china cabinet that Tracy mm -hmm. picked. Yeah. But one thing I did instead of getting rid of the chair rail was to add to it was I uh, put wainscoting and stuff all along the bottom yeah and the top isn't well, that cool but, but i did only on the top on the main window wall so the way yes. i centered your window was i hung curtain panels but if you look behind them one of them is way further over oh right oh so it makes it look like the window is centered but it's not the curtains are centered hiding the edges of the window you do lose a little bit of the, of the, uh, the actual window itself, but you can't see anything out that except for brick anyway. Yeah. You put shutters in here. You'll still get your light in. Your window looks centered now. Yeah. What did you put for shutter, for panels there? Uh, that's, don't, that's a Roman blind I have in there, but don't go by that. It was just one brain fart that I had that I put in there, but uh, Tracy's right. Uh, the, I like the, the shutters, uh, the Roman, uh, sorry, California shutters or the plantation blinds, way better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Way, so way now better. you're, from yours here, you're making the room darker. I, I have it the same, this is the same color. It's mine? Yes. Or it's Tracy uh, showed. And one thing, later. here, I'll show yeah. you something else. Here's your colors. That's your existing color on the left. Here's yeah. Tracy simply white on the right. So you see the difference? The color yeah. that Tracy's picked is much brighter. Yeah. It, it freshens it up a little bit. It makes it a bit brighter. Yours is really is nice as well. There's nothing wrong with it. it like she's saying, it totally, both of these work. Yep. The, the simply white just makes it a bit fresher. Yeah. And yeah. what I did is I put the molding on the upper part of the bulkhead. Yeah, I like that. It, it makes the bulkhead sort of disappear and also adds, makes it a bit, bulkheads tend to make it look a little bit shorter, not as tall. Yeah. yeah. This incorporates it. So it, it yeah. just adds a little bit more height. Yeah. That I actually like. I like that idea. It's great. And, and you wouldn't recommend that the drape goes all the way to the wall. You would keep it like that. You could. You mean, you, oh, you mean pushing them that way? Yeah, like cut the whole wall. Well, you, do, you want, well, do you want to see? I can show you what that would look yeah. like. Here he goes. Here's the magic of this thing. So because what I would do is I would mix the two. So I would have the sheer over the window. Then I would have the solids on the side. Yes. That's what you're thinking, right? Yeah. Yeah. I've already got yeah. the shears there. So I would just the, have to these buy curtain, them in. These curtain panels I have in here are solid. They're not sheer. Yeah. Right. They're like the raw silk she was talking yeah. about. So there you go. 
the wrong thing. Yeah. It's pretty. It yeah. makes it cozier. Mm -hmm. And it's light too. It's not like it's a dark one, right? So it's a light one. So it's just pretty. It's giving a little texture and a little bit of fun. So yeah. you would definitely have to keep them light, no pattern or anything, because if you if they were darker or there was pattern and you're fully taking the whole span of wall full of curtain, that as well can make the room feel much smaller. Right. Right. But and keeping them, keeping them the same as the same as the wall color as close as you can will keep it open and, and looking right. bigger. Right. But we're mm -hmm. not saying go full on monochromatic. Like have your pretty contrast be with your table and your chairs and your furniture. But right. have, have as we we're saying, have the, the drapery marry into the walls so that it sort of keeps this lovely airy feel. Okay. And right. the and feeling is to get way. rid of the hat. She really doesn't want to do this. You're so attached to it. It's too you, big. Yeah, it's too big. You you need to, yeah, to, to get this feel. Look how big it is in comparison. Mm -hmm. It's big. Yeah. It's a I big, mean, big a boy. <laughs> you can put it somewhere else or you can sell it and get money for it to put towards yeah. doing some updates in the in in here. I, yeah. I know that a friend made it for you. I don't know how your friend is gonna feel. If they find out that you sold the, uh, but they're, I mean, it was they're far, far away now. Okay. Well, yeah. well, put it this way: I don't think they thought you'd keep it forever. Can you use it somewhere? Like, do you have a cottage? Like, you could shift it to, or do you have a downstairs cantina that you can. Woo -woo -woo. Um, I mean, you could turn it into a bookshelf somewhere else in your house if you need some book storage too. That's like, true. I never thought uh, about. Oh, you can do it in my basement and store it down. Store it, like the top. I don't care. Yeah, you can um, use. You can also use just the bottom portion. The bottom's like a, yeah. I could use that for storage somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can use it. Seriously, it can turn into somebody's bedroom thing too, if you need. Or like in, in your office, do you need an extra surface to put your printer and all that stuff on? Like it's great. Mm -hmm. I've mm -hmm. also seen people take the top and mount it to a wall with nothing underneath as well, and then it becomes. You can put little coat um, things underneath, and it becomes oh, a little coat hook thing. area in a, in a mud roomy kind of thing. You know. I think you have the wrong dimension for the um, hutch, Terry, because it's slim. I have that it is 23 and three quarters. I don't remember what you told me. So maybe. I, don't think, I think it's 14 or something, isn't it? 14 or 15 or something? I can't remember. I don't know. Let me look here. Hold on. Yeah, look, please. Because I. I can't find it. Give me a sec. Can you make the walls white, Terry? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 37 wide, four foot, one, one foot deep. Oh, it's only one foot? Okay. Yeah, 12 inches. That's skinny mini ear. Yeah, it's skinny. It's me. So cool. Isn't this fun? I know, I still gotta learn how to do this. It's now, so you won't see it. See, that's much better now. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah it's little. So now from the front door to be much better, it'll fit a lot. There you go. Mm -hmm. So you, you don't have to get rid of that guy. And now, also the walls here, I made them white. Yeah. I think it lightens it up. Oh, big time, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It'll totally freshen it up. So. Yeah. Wow. What a difference. I wouldn't have even thought of these ideas. This is what we do. <laughs> this is what takes years and years of practice to get it just a bit right and there's a lot and it's funny people don't understand how much time this takes i have put this table like you have, you have no idea it's, it's crazy <laughs> like and i'm like nope still doesn't feel right and i sit there and i go nope 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 so this is what feels really right and it's nice for circulation yes and um yeah and it'll be great i think it'd be a really nice kind of idea and then like i said you can cram people because it's oval yeah, see how much more floor space you get now that that's so much tinier. Yep. Yeah, yep. this this table that I put in, I didn't know what size the table was that you had picked, Tracy, but this oh. one is uh, 72 by 36. <clears throat> It'll depend on how many leaves you put in, right? Yeah. And how many, and how big was my other one with the leaf? Your other one is like 80 something. Oh. Yeah, yeah. you got it. Right? Mm -hmm. It's much bigger. Oh. Yeah, I like think I have this as 80, 82 by 34. Yeah. yeah. And see how it's kind of, these, these guys are a little bit crammed. Yeah. yeah. But still works. You can still do it. You, well, but the problem is when you go in, if you look at the entry right there, there's not much space to, yeah. 
see right yeah. there that's a very scary point like they're very it's very narrow so if you have the longer tail you got to turn it straight which takes the or fun you take out a leaf, leaf. yeah take out a leaf for every day and just yeah. this would only be if there was a big dinner party right. oh yeah which or, there never is anymore the oval table is good because there isn't a sharp corner there now, right? For when you're walking yeah. in to walk into. And I like the, uh, I just did simple gallery style, black framed, uh, black and white photography. Brings in that little pop of black you were after. Yeah. Which is cool. and, and, the, and the plant pot, the pot plant, the plant pot. Is, <laughs> well, <laughs> is depending what you want to well. grow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I put in one of those big fig trees that are just everywhere right now. This is like the in plant at the moment. Can I share? I want to show with, I just want to show her the other light that I found recently, which I kind of like too, because that would really yeah, marry it's into. Yeah, got the black in it as well. Yeah, super simple black rim. Simple yeah. black tea. That's, that's, I was thinking I like that too. And that would be really nice, be nice with those pictures. The concept that Terry was, you know, with the black art, like perfect. Simple. Simple, 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 simple. And that doesn't bug your vision because... When it's off, it's just simple. Like it's a halo. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have the white halos as well. So, you know, angels, devils, whatever you want to be. But <laughs> that's kind of, you know, it's sort of the idea. Yeah. So you wouldn't put anything on top of the hutch, Terry. You'd leave it plain like that? This is just placing everything in here. So, yeah. no, you could put... You could totally put stuff, but I wouldn't go crazy because you don't yeah. want it to be... Even putting that plant on top of this thing was like... It's verging on... You don't want it to be cluttery. So you want it to be strategically, thoughtfully placed items. But which one were you talking about? You're talking about this hutch over here, putting stuff on top of? Because don't put stuff on top no, of that. No, no. Okay, good. Yeah. For sure. Of course, you could, you know, put something on here up for sure. But not too much. But not like, not a tray full of, you know, wine bottles and stuff like that. No, just like, if you wanted to put a nice tray there. Yeah, like a platter or something. Like a platter, yeah, that's fine. Because if you want to use it at some point, let's say silver or like even if it's like, um, you know, like a metal would be good, even if it's a black one. Yeah. It's like, a, like a thin right. black and maybe it's got some pretty metal or copper work. That would be beautiful. You know, mm -hmm. something that's that's textured or it could be like, um, like some sort of uh, bamboo or something cool like that. Like just for another beachy kind of texture or maybe it's like copper gone that, you know, that verdigris kind of thing. Something interesting. Okay, I can see lots of places for my signs. Oh my God. <laughs> right, see, I left an open space right here for live, love, laugh. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Hang on a sec, let me... Uh... Oh, there's a thing, a shutter thing. Oh, cool. It's just like play, play, toy, toys. Oh my God, I love this stuff. So, see, it'll look nicer with, with shutters. Not that color, like, don't, don't forget, I just quickly grabbed You're those. You're white. Yeah. White, yeah. The one thing you might want to maybe do, actually, with these shutters is you'd possibly want to have maybe three. only one, or just three, or just one, because... It makes it look a little too busy? Yeah. No, not that it looks too busy. It's now I can see where the real center is. Uh, yes. Right, so the illusion's gone again, ish. You, so if you had only one, I think like those ones are called California shutters. Yeah. There's, one of them is where it's regular. just, yeah, the regular almost Venetian blinds, but they're like yeah. the, two, the two inch slats Venetian or something, shutters, right? Yeah, they're bigger, yeah. Something like that, so it still is just one. Big. Yeah. Thing. Or you don't care, and you just do this anyway, and just, mm -hmm. and move on, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it is. I the like end the, of the idea world. of the shears with the the shutters. I mean, the shears with the linen because in the winter that is my only source of light. Mm -hmm. So I need to put my plants there oh. that I bring in, so it looks like hell in there. So lots to choose from, which is fantastic. Yeah. So we've given you lots and lots of food for thought. Yeah. My mind's just spinning. <laughs> well, that's not good. It's good. It's happy spinning as long as it's happy Okay, spinning. no one told me that this was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome no, to design. Good. It Welcome is. Welcome to design. It's stressful. It, it's good. It's so, something to take your mind off everything else right now. Gives me something to yeah. do. It's good, though, that your mind spins because now it's, it's just taking you to places that you never even would have thought of 
like you said, to do in that room. And now it's like, wait a minute. Okay, now yeah. go in there, start moving it around. Maybe the existing table, put it on the angle, like Tracy yes. said, that China cam is going to be in the way, but yeah. start playing a little bit just to, to have a look. The one See, thing I'll say about, about the chair, chair rail is if you're removing it, it's a lot of work because you've got to fix the wall once it's ripped off. Uh -huh. So it's equally amount of work ish to put all that wainscoting uh, the molding on as well because you can just do that yourself that's just flat pieces of mdf cut down like it's nothing special it's pretty easy diy to do yeah so either way there's either. work involved which i'm not doing so it would have to be what my fix is better right what one do you think hon <laughs> <laughs> okay guys Thank you so much, Tracy, for all your help. You're welcome. Thank you, Denise, for letting us try and help you out. And I hope we were able to help you with your problems. Yeah. <laughs> I hope we didn't add to them now. One of them. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> One of many. There are many, out. many. <laughs> <laughs> and happy Mother's Day, Denise, happy by the way. Yeah. We're filming this on Mother's Day, but I don't know when it's going to air. So yeah. Okay. we'll, we'll okay. say happy Mother's Day now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Cheers. Okay, take care. Right. Bye. I'll talk to you later. Bye. So Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Dude, what's your problem? <laughs>